So how do you actually get people onto the list? You need to get signups, right? Um, and there are, we've, ta we've touched on this a little bit, but there are three ways to do that. You can ask them, hey, would you like to be on my list? You know, uh, you can bribe them. Hey, I'll give you $100. Real, what, I, what I mean about that is what we talked about before, the bait. So sometimes people need a little bit of a nudge. And I know it feels kind of weird and smarmy, uh, but it doesn't have to. And, and the way I think of it is as a reward. Instead of, come on, take, you know, here's a, here's a sucker, and I'm going to sucker you into this, so, and you're going to get a bunch of emails, and you're going to buy stuff from me. Another way to think of it is, I appreciate that you were getting a lot of emails in your inbox, and I just want to say thanks. And so I want to give you something for free, um, just as a thank you for being a part of it. It's like, you know, if somebody came and, came and visited your home or your business or came and saw you speak or, you know, any, did anything nice for you where they gave you their attention, you would say thanks. Here's a gift. Here's a thank you card. That's what you're doing here. You're just thanking them. You're rewarding them. And honestly, you want to keep rewarding them. You want to keep saying thank you uh, for staying engaged. And so you may have some sort of initial bribe, some piece of bait, but one of the parts of keeping a list healthy, which we'll talk about tomorrow, is continually rewarding people for staying engaged. And there are some smart, effective ways to do that. Lastly, uh, and this is why you start even with one subscriber, is you want to encourage those readers that you have to share. So when I was getting ready to uh, do this class, I sent an email to my list. And I basically said two things. One, hey, this is free. Check it out. Not a bad deal. So I'm continuing to reward my tribe. Uh, and two, if you know somebody that would love this, tell them about it. And I even gave them a little tweetable link that they could share on Twitter. And when I asked my audience to do that, hundreds of people did it. And if I didn't ask, they wouldn't have done it. So don't take it for granted that just because you have great content, just because you're helping people, that people are sharing it. Once in a while, it's good to invite them, to encourage them to share. Think about it as a really cool club. And you want to say, hey, this is free. I'm helping you. You know, you're getting value from this. Tell your friends. It's just a bigger, more fun party.